Yeah, I just came back from using Palm Springs. Um, and my house is infested with ants, bro. I don't know what just happened, bro. I just had to throw away all this good seasoning. I threw away, they was all stuck on this syrup bottle. I threw away all my seasoning, all my food, everything, basically. And I don't know what to do at this point, bro. Like, I feel disgusted, man. Ugh. Like, it's so many ants. But they only in this one area, so I'm not really as scared. But, I mean, I ain't scared at all, but, like, yeah, it's kind of nasty, bro. What the fuck? Look, they everywhere. It's nasty. Ugh. I'm the cleanest person ever, by the way, y'all. Like, I don't play that dirty shit, man. So when I see stuff like this, it just give me like ick. I'm like, ugh. So I gotta figure out a way to get rid of all of these ants right now. This is making me feel some type of way. It's terrible. It ain't that many. I guess it could be worse, but still, the fact of the matter is, like, I'm a clean dude, bro. I I ain't dealing with no ants, man. Look at this. Look all under here. <laughs> now I'm getting mad, bro. I don't even want to. Ah, this is disgusting. I'm thinking, should I bait them? Should I put a little bit of honey down, right? Have them come to the honey and then kill them all. Should I do that? Let me try that. This might be a dumb idea, but I'm gonna try it. My bad if I look a little crusty this morning, man. You know, I just, just woke up damn near. Came back to the crib. Woo -woo -woo. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this little thing down right here. They like, oh, we finally got some food. Here y'all go. Go ahead. Get y'all some honey. Get y'all some honey. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Get the honey, man. Get the honey. Go and get the honey. He like, oh, shit. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Some over here smell good, man. Y'all go tap in, bro. Some over here smell good, y'all. Look, I want everything, bro. Look, he smelling. He like, hold on, hold on, wait a second. Oh, we hit the jackpot, y'all. Pull up, everybody. Pull up. We got something. Yeah, keep eating it, dummy. <laughs> yeah, hop up on there, man. I'll be right back, y'all. I gotta go to the stove, man. I had a, I used to have a um, a little vacuum that I could just suck them all up with. I don't know where it's at, so I'm finna go buy me a vacuum real quick. <sighs> see, this is the regular stuff I do that y'all don't get to see. You know what I mean? When I'm just straight rapping. You know, like stuff like this. But if you on my Snapchat, you already seen this. Make sure y'all follow me on Snapchat at Pontiac Maybe DG. But I'm finna go to Best Buy or something, and I'm finna grab me a little vacuum and suck every single, um, every single ant up. No homo. Suck all these ants up, put them in a the vacuum, throw them away. Boo boo ba bang. Yeah, I miss vlogging my side missions, man. This is just I do side missions all the time, bro. I just never like get the broadcast or do nothing. So be a little uh I feel like people just think that I'm just some superhuman or something like that, and I don't do regular stuff. But I do regular human stuff every day, bro. I'm like, just like y'all. Y'all be forgetting that, bro. Like, I'm no better than you, bro. I just got more money than your daddy. That's literally the only difference between me and you. I came here for a vacuum, bro. These vacuums are $600, bro. Bro, this vacuum better give me some head or something. What? $600 for a vacuum? That's how much I spend in vacuums these days? I got marble floors, so I ain't never got a vacuum, so I ain't know they cost that much. Look at the trap I set, y'all. Worked out perfectly. They all flocking to it. All trying to get some honey. They all going in the same place that I needed to go. Now that I got this on me. Oh! 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 
Yay! Yay! Aiming at your block. Boom, 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 boom. Gonna get him. <laughs> Dummies. Come on down. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all come see me. Come see me. Yeah. Yeah, y'all stuck in there forever now. Yep, dummies. Dummies, 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 dummies. Now y'all stuck. Can I have a, um, uh, hold on one second. No worries. What should I get you? I don't know. Um, let me have a. Damn, I don't know what I want. What is the Starbucks Reserve Ice Latte? The Reserve Ice Latte? Yeah, what is it? Hello? Sorry, give me one second. Okay. Attitude. I'm a little crusty, man. I gotta clean up. Okay, let let me just get um. Let me just have an ice caramel macchiato. Ice caramel macchiato. Yeah, grande. Okay. And can I get an extra shot of espresso in it? Extra shot of espresso, okay. And then let me get a spinach feta egg white wrap. Okay. And that's all. All right, let me know it's exact for you. All right. I ended a Q&A in a minute, y'all. So I figured I'd go ahead and do one of those today. Um, today is a cool day, man. Y'all know I don't do... I'm a regular human. I feel like a lot of y'all forget that. But I'm a regular human, y'all. Sometimes I don't do much. You know, sometimes I just chill at home or sometimes I just play the game and sit at home all day and level up on Call of Duty. Or, you know, play some solos on Fortnite or whatever, you know, because that's what I'm good at. I know a lot of y'all don't know how to play video games, so y'all wouldn't relate to that. But sometimes I just want to kick it at the crib where I, I go to the studio for 12 hours and I don't film nothing, you know. But I'm trying to keep it daily for y'all. So um, it's already 530 here in L.A. So that's 830 on the East Coast. I got to give y'all something before it's too late. Um, but I am going to Drake concert tonight. I'm surprising Hallie with tickets. So I'm about to take her to the Drake concert. So I'm going to vlog a little bit of that. So, But that'll be in tomorrow's vlog. So make sure y'all subscribe. Stay tuned. Press post notifications. And uh, yeah, make sure y'all follow me on Snapchat. That's where I post the most every day. I don't miss a day on Snapchat. Trust and believe. Anybody that watch my Snapchat, vouch for me in the comments right now. Let them know, man. My shit lit. But I'm about to get this coffee. Answer some questions. Whoa, 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 whoa. Go about my dizzy. All right, y'all. Let's get into this Q and A. I got a few little snacks to keep me level head. Mm. <coughs> 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 I'm gonna die on camera, y'all. All right. Kickpoint name. All right. Love Lonnie said, is there anything on your bucket list for the rest of the year? I want to drop an album before the end of the year. A very well thought out, co cohesive album of lifting words. Like, I feel like the reason why hip hop is so low Hip hop is the the least stream slash bought genre of all time right now at this very moment. Like 2017, 2018, 2019, up and right before the pandemic, hip hop was number one. The charts was filled with all hip hop songs. And I feel like now it's at the lowest it's ever been. And I feel like it's because we're not rapping about anything anymore. As a nigga that as a as a dude that raps, I can admit that. We don't rap about nothing. The littest songs 
in hip hop right now ain't about nothing for real. Let's be honest. We just rapping. We just saying the same thing, flexing money, cars and stuff like that. And I admit I do the same thing, but it's just you just don't know. But I feel like I want to make an album that's very well thought out. Every song is cohesive. Every song has a message. Every song is meant to make you feel some type of way. I got, I'm, I'm working on songs right now where I get in the studio, I might listen to the beat for like 30 minutes and write the song down well thought out and really have a concept in my head that can really grab somebody, you know, whether it's uplifting, making somebody feel better or exposing somebody or, or, or you know, just really reading people's minds. So before the end of the year, that's my goal. I'm gonna make it happen. Love Lonnie also said, top three artists in your playlist right now. I would say, well, I listen, I listen to Gunna a lot. I feel like Gunna had the number, the Gunna had the hardest album of this year, and nobody ain't gonna say it because the, the little situation or whatever. But in my personal opinion, as a listener, Gunna had the best album this year thus far, no matter what. That's the truth, bro. I'm being one. I'm being a thousand. Shoot me. I'm sorry. Gunna had the best album, bro. Let's be honest, bro. He ain't missed once. I say Gunna, Drake, Future. Like my top three that I really listen to in my playlist. Future going stupid, going dumb. Um, Yeah, I say that's my top three. But I listen to all music, though. Like, I don't just listen to rap, y'all. Yeah. Like, I listen to pop, rock. Yeah, I don't listen to rock. I'm lying. I listen to pop. I listen to R&B. I listen to everything. Like, I look, I'm, I'm starting to listen to country music. I'm not going to lie. I would listen to Spanish music if I understood the language because it sounds cool. But I've been listening to pop, rap, a little tiny bit of country. Country is what rappers, hip-hop, as a hip-hop artist, we need to look at these country dudes because what they be rapping, what they be singing about be real-life stuff and they be touching your heart. I like country music. It's something that's genuinely like they they talking about something. So I like country music. Um, how much longer we have to wait for tour? Not too long, but I think I want to go on tour with another artist, y'all. I don't think I'm ready for my own headline tour. Not yet, y'all. I I should have went on a headline tour for the last project. Not not um maybe it's me, but the one before that. And for sure, die for respect. Uh, I did go for die for respect. I went with Kevin Gates, but I feel like I should have went for the last project. I feel like this project is not really tour worthy to me personally as somebody that made it. So when an album drop that I feel confident about, and I know it's, I put my all into it, that's when I'm going to go out. I'm not in a rush at all. Um, Best live concert performance you've ever seen. The best live concert that I ever seen thus far. I only been to a few concerts. My first concert I ever been to was Young Thug and Twenty One Savage. I got free tickets from Seat Geek. I never been to a concert ever in my life until that time. My second concert, I probably I went to Rolling Loud, probably in like two thousand twenty. I I don't I don't go to concerts like that. But I went to Rolling Loud Thailand. I performed, and then the next day I went to go see Travis Scott perform. Travis Scott is the best performer of all time. Shoot me. I done seen him. His energy is out of control. So I would say that's probably the best performance that I done seen. Um, and then next, Beyonce. I seen Beyonce in Dubai. That was amazing. That's true talent. In terms of like energy, them two different shows though. In terms of like energy, I would say Travis Scott. It's just super lit. People jump on stage and then he throw them back in the crowd. It's just a bunch of stuff going on. Okay, uh, if the music and fame went away tomorrow, what would you see yourself doing? I think I would be a manager. Not gonna lie, y'all. Like, I genuinely enjoy helping people. Like, if I got a million dollars today and I can show and, and I got a homie that ain't got it, bro, I would literally sit you down and teach you how to make the million that I just made. You feel me? Like, I just love helping people. I love guiding people. Like, I feel like if I wasn't doing this, I would be a manager, music exec, um, 
or anything like that. Like I definitely would be in a high paying field. We're not, I'm not going to sit here and lie to y'all and say, Hey, I'll be a firefighter or a policeman. I don't understand that to be honest with y'all. Not, not, not stunting on nobody, but if you ain't working a nine to five, bro, like I ain't finna go through police school, bro. It's just not on me. Like, I don't know how I got into that, but I just don't understand police officers, bro. Y'all putting your life on the line for 50 bands, bro. I don't understand. It might be a police officer watching this right now, bro. Don't arrest me. I'm just saying. I just don't get it. I don't understand it. But it definitely would be something high paying. I feel like I'd be a high manager on some Scooter Braun level. You feel me? I'd be like, you know, I'd be on some QCP type shit, you know? I feel like that's what I'd be on. Whether it's music or just regular media. Um, Are you going to grab another big custom chain? Yes, I am. I had one in the works. I was supposed to have it by now, but I was procrastinating. Um, I just making custom chains. You just don't know, bro. Like I got a custom chain made before and I hated it and I made them remake it and I waited a month for it. So I just make, I just want to go. I just want to make sure I spend top dollar and I go to the right person. Cause I want like a cross baguettes, diamonds. Like I want a different chain. Like I want something real nice. Like I like Lil Uzi chain. Not that I'm copying his chain, but I like his new chain. It's like a little cross it's dope like i like something like that like i want something cool like that so that's what i've been working on i got one already in the works but i'm just trying to make sure that i really really enjoy the design before i put my money into it uh how much longer are you gonna stay in la i don't know i i feel like i get a second spot before i move out of here um it's just hard to relocate especially i got family here like if i ever get bored if i'm ever bored job go to my brother's house or go to my mama's house and I sit there for hours and hours and hours and hours just so I can be having some company. So, um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The taxes is definitely out of control. Maybe I should leave sooner than later. But um, for right now, I'm chilling. Will you ever quit YouTube? No, I would not. I don't think I will ever quit YouTube for the simple fact that it's me. That's the truth. I can't run away from it. Even if I try to, like, I'm a YouTuber, y'all. Like, I'm a YouTuber and I'm an entertainer. I'm an artist. I'm a, I'm a designer. I'm this and that, rapper, singer, whatever. Like, I'm, I'm just everything, bro. Like, nobody told, nobody told Jamie Foxx, hey, bro, you a, you a actor, rapper. Hey, bro, you're an actor, singer. You're a singer, actor. You're not a real, you know. Jamie Foxx got hits and he in movies, like. You can't stop somebody. I, I just get bored easily, bro. Like, I got to do a lot. I got to do everything. And I don't think I will ever quit YouTube because it gives me so much satisfaction. Um, I love it. If you had to choose one, would you choose YouTube or Snapchat? I would choose Snapchat. Let me tell you why. Snapchat is just more real time. It's so much easier to post. Like, after I get done with this, I have to edit it. I have to upload it i have to wait maybe 30 minutes to an hour for it to go up and then i have to uh put ads on it and then i have to put a thumbnail on it. like it's a lot of work to post and you can hit or miss snapchat i'm posting pictures videos and about a snap i just snapped like i just made i went to the store y'all i ain't even vlogging i went to the store to get some clothes for the concert tonight and i probably snapped a hundred snaps and I got a large fan base on there. Yesterday, I got 2 million views on my story. 24-hour story, 2 million views. No rap cap at all. I'll show you the screenshot. Make sure y'all go follow me on there, y'all. Like, I'll really be on there a lot. I would definitely choose Snapchat if I had to choose one of them. But I would much rather do both. When you dropping a song? um, When I'm dropping an official song, I want it to be something well thought out. I want it to be a banger, something that you know I, I, you know I really, really, truly believe in. Not that I don't believe in the songs that I drop, but when I post stuff on YouTube, it really just be for fun, y'all. Like I just gotta feel that voice sometimes, and I just gotta put something out and just feel it a little bit. So um, I'm probably gonna post. I'm a. I shot a music video when we was in Palm Springs. I'm gonna drop that. It's something fun though. It's something for y'all to you know vibe to, kick it for the time. You know, R. Kylie, R. R. I. Carly freestyle type shit. So I'm probably gonna drop that maybe tomorrow or the next day before I go to Japan. I'm gonna drop a whole nother video. 
music video on YouTube. But when it comes to um, dropping like an official song, very, very soon, I'm thinking September, middle of September, and then going to an album October. That's what I'm aiming for. Don't know if it's going to happen. Don't quote me, but that's what I'm working on. Get back on stream. I will never stream again, y'all. I quit. Because the world not ready for me live, bro. Like, I, the world is not ready for me live. Me getting on Twitch, I done created more beef for myself than I ever created in a span of two months. Like, I feel like me streaming is dumbing down my quality of a human. It's dumbing down my quality as a as an entity, as DDG. Um, I'm giving y'all too much. And it's hard, bro. Like, Streaming is very, very fun. I very much enjoyed it. But you really got to sit in that room for eight hours, bro. Like, got to sit in that room for five, six hours. And it's like, bro, I'm moving around. I'm an artist, bro. Like, I got I to gotta do stuff. I got to move around. I got to, you know what I'm saying? It's just it's just not ideal for my career. Um, But big ups to everybody that's doing it. You know, it's very, very lucrative when it comes to money. And um, I'm happy for anybody that's killing it. But I can't do what Kai do, bro. I can't do it with um, your age, do. I can't do it, bro. Like, I, I just can't. Like, I've been in, bro, I've been at to fight somebody. Like, it's, it's just too much, bro. The internet shit, like, people just talk too crazy on there. I can't handle it, bro. I crash out on the internet. And y'all don't even be noticing. Y'all think I just be joking, but I really be dead ass mad. I'm like, I can't even do that, bro. I got to chill. You in talks with Keemstar for a boxing match. No, I'm not. But I might box again. I'm thinking about it. I might box. I need a tune-up fight, though, y'all. I'm weak. I'm rusty. So if any of y'all grandpas or um, five-year-old nephews want to get in there so I can tune up, I might jump in there for that. But I might box again. I might hop in the ring again some point in time. Um, definitely... Just, I feel like just boxing in general, it's like you really got to dedicate a lot of time to it. So I got to really have a window where I'm not doing nothing to really get into it. Um, how many times a week do you hit the gym? I tried three or four times a week. I haven't went to the gym this week because I just went on vacation. I did go to the gym for a little bit, got a little pump in while I was there. But um, I didn't go to the gym this week. But once, but I tried like three, four times a week. At minimum, somebody said, why are people clowning on your greatness? I don't think people clowning on my greatness. I feel like people are. I talk. I know this dude named Corn, y'all. He a Twitter dude, right? Dude named Corn. I'm cool with him. He probably tweeted some stuff about me a few times. But, you know, we met in person. We cool. We locked in. You feel me? I feel like everybody that that meet me. Be like, oh, DDG actually a cool dude. Like, he not even really arrogant or nothing like that. Like, when I be flexing, it be I be joking, y'all. Like, I don't really be like I'm. I'm a very humble person. And honestly, y'all, my brother, I'm more humble than my brother. Like, I'm I'm very humble. By the way, I'm super duper humble. I don't know if it just comes off that way, but like, I'm very humble, y'all. I don't. I love uplifting people. I. I am very, very aware of the great position that I'm in. I thank God for all my success and everything. Um, not saying my brother don't, but I'm saying like I my brother flex on you before I do. But I know this dude named Corn, and uh he making like 50 bands on Twitter. So I feel it. People tweet about me because it gets engagement on Twitter and it's like a little trend or whatever. So everybody getting their bag. I don't even, bro, y'all keep tweeting, bro. Y'all gotta feed y'all families too. I'm not gonna stop y'all from feeding y'all families, bro. Do what y'all gotta do. Twitter make money. And guess what I did? I went on my shit and I figured out I can monetize too. So I might start tweeting about y'all. So I get it, I understand it. I don't think people clown on my greatness. I feel like definitely the trend of hating on DDG has made people get misconstrued of how talented and great I am and the impact that I've had on the black community and any minor minority community or any community in general on the internet um, has definitely been, people, people have the wrong idea of me off of that trend of hate. But in reality, the people that know of me, which is a lot of people, they know that, you know, 
I'm a good dude. I come with a lot of stuff and you know, I, I, I've created this, this great life for me and my family. And I feel like a lot of people know that they might not flat out say it or defend me online, but I feel like the majority of people know that the people that don't know of me definitely don't like me off of other people opinions, which is cool. I feel like people will come around at some point, but, um, I don't, I, it don't really bother me no point at, at this point, y'all. Like I've been getting hated on for damn near six, seven months now. Like it's like it's whatever, but I take it with a grain of salt. At first it was bothering me, but now I really don't care. Somebody said, "When will you actually get a team?" For y'all that don't know, I do not have a manager. I don't have an assistant. I don't have a nothing. I have nothing, y'all. Like people don't understand that, bro. I'm still staying afloat. I ain't got no team, bro. Like. The people that's at my caliber of music, they have a full-blown team. They have everything. They got assistants, people that roll their blunts for them. They got people that, you know what I'm saying? They do everything for them. I don't have nothing. And it's not that it's a flex. It's just I haven't found my team yet. Like, I'm still actively searching. Um, I'm trying to figure out, like, what exactly I, who I, what I want in a manager. You know what I'm saying? Like, what do I need help with? Uh, I recently been in talks with a pub, a PR. I don't even have a PR, y'all, like, which explains probably my tweets and stuff that I got in trouble for. But I don't have a PR. I don't have no team at all, y'all. I'm raw dogging it. But you know what I do got? I got 100% of everything. You feel me? But, you know, you got to break bad with people to get to the next, the next level of success. So I'm working on a team, working on getting a manager, working on getting an assistant. An assistant is kind of hard. It was hard for me to trust Ed. And me and Ed was like, you know what I'm saying? Me and Ed bump heads a few times. It was hard for me to trust him for real because I, I just don't like hanging out with new people like that. Like, I'm not like a very friendly person. I'm not like a very like, hey, y'all, let's be friends. Like, that's never been me. Like, I tell y'all all the time, I'm very introverted, extremely. So I don't like reach out to people or nothing like that. So it's, it's going to be hard for me to find an assistant, somebody I can hang out with every single day. Um, also for a manager, somebody I could put the trust into my career and giving them a percentage or something like just a little hard. One thing I do got, I got a lawyer and I got, um, I'm working on getting a PR. So I'm figuring everything out y'all. So I am actively trying to find a team to definitely further my career for sure ski. Somebody said, why are you going to Japan? I'm going to Japan because I want to go to Japan. I have absolutely no reason why I'm going. I just called my brother, called the Shay, um, and I was like, yeah, let's go to Japan, you know? And then we just bought our tickets, man. We blessed to do that, obviously, but um, I'm just excited to go. I go in a couple of days, and I, a lot of other people just went to Japan. So I'm like, yeah, I want to see what all the hype about, so... I never been before. I'm very excited. I love technology. I heard they got restaurants where robots serve you. Like I can't, I can't wait. Yeah, now I'm gonna go crazy with the videos. And I got a good news for y'all. I got a cameraman. It ain't Ed. Ed got a new job. He cheating on me. But I got another cameraman. Got his flight already. He pulling up. So I'm gonna have a third person vlogs for y'all coming up in Japan. Um, and if y'all like how he work. You might keep working with them, y'all. Y'all the hirers, bro. I don't hire nobody. Y'all does it. But we're going to see. Um, yeah. So it's going to be lit. I'm going to Japan in a couple days. Turn on post notifications. I will be vlogging. I will be Snapchatting 24-7. Okay? Please and thank you. I love y'all. Um, I can't wait to give y'all more content. I can't wait to continue the rest of the year i can't wait to inspire more of you i can't wait to continue and do everything in this new chapter that i got you know all my old videos gone so we're kind of starting over so um i'm just excited i love y'all from the bottom of my heart the people that's watching these videos right now y'all don't understand how much trial and tribulation and how much um how much stuff I didn't went through mentally over this past few months that I had to train. But, you know, it made me stronger. I had to train my brain to understand that people don't understand me. Not everybody going to like me. And I know over the, for 90% for of my career, I've been loved. I've been liked. So, um, you know, something new to me. And I appreciate y'all for sticking with me. And it means a lot. I want y'all to know that. And, um, yeah, man, that's what I got to say. 
I'm finna get ready to go to this concert. I'm finna get my hair retwisted, get right. And I'm finna go enjoy myself. Follow me on Snapchat if you want to see me again after this video. I post there every day, all day, in real time. So I love y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next vlog.